All right, I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Um, first thing though, uh, I got something really cool to show you guys, but you gotta wait till the end. Uh, it's like a once in a lifetime find, for me anyway. It's kind of like the holy grail of, of what I collect. And uh, I'll show you guys if you make it till the end. Um, so yeah, the first, this first one, uh, everybody's always asking about my collection, so I figured I'll just start doing these videos um, every few weeks of um, some of the new stuff that comes in. Um, <clears throat> I'll kind of just show them as they come in, you know. Um, so I got a box from Australia, and I got a box from eBay, so let's get into this one first. This is a Raptor. Kind of a rare one. It's a true American rafting pattern, five pounds. Square pole made by man, stamped five. Hopefully, this camera angle is good. True American man, stamped five. Square pole kind of has a tiny little chip right there. I've seen that in the pictures, but. Barely noticeable. So I got that off eBay. It was a good price. It was a buy now. So good deal on that one. All right, let's get into the Tazzies. $330 Australian to ship. This box should be pretty good. It's always hard to tell through pictures, but I don't think it'll be good as the last shipment. I think there's seven or eight in here. They're always packaged really good. I've had some recent uh, stuff that I bought off eBay that was, wasn't packaged good, and I... I lost one in the mail. Nothing too special, but it's pretty important to package things right. I had a 500 I shipped to me a few weeks ago and it barely made it. With no insurance, I told the guy don't put any insurance on it. And the saw barely made it here. Looks like he threw in some wedges. These look like spotted gum, actually. Probably spot him, spotted gum. That's cool. I got some really cool wedges coming. Uh, he put some candy in here, and it looks like the looks like the jar broke. He's been sending me candy lately, which is kind of cool. Australian candy. Yeah, the jar broke. Dang, it's glass too. Candy everywhere. That's what it looks like. Hard candy. We'll dig that out later, I guess. test super good shape happy with that one stamp four and a half 
pretty full bit. Let's get the scale over here and weigh this. So this thing's stamped four and a half, weighing in at 4.4. Challenger, four pound high test Challenger. Stamp four, weighs 4.6. So that one's, on, that one's overweight. Four and a half pound Challenger. This one's a little rough. The pull, the pull is a little rough. Pretty full bit though. Stamp four and a half. Weighs 4.9. Keen steel. This one has an interesting grind on it. Keen steel. Looks like it has a four stamp on it. Really fat profile. Weighing in at four pounds exactly. That one's sweet. This is a really rough uh dandy known dan he threw i'm pretty sure he threw this one in for free or i paid a small amount for it somebody did some weird grinding on it but the stamp is really nice this is a canadian true temper it's got see somebody grinded on it kind of weird they were trying to thin it down or something. You just check the mail, something else came in. Can't remember what that is, but we'll get to it in a minute. Let's get through this Australian box first. This thing, plums are my favorite. This has a plum stamp on each side. There's a plum stamp right here. And there's a plum USA stamp right here. I don't know, they call that a double stamp or something. No weight stamp on it. It's weighing 4.7. That's a nice axe. <clears throat> Pole has a couple little dings in it. Here's a nice keen steel. Really fat profile. That profile. These keens, I really like the shape of these keen steels. I don't see a weight stamp on this one. 4.5. We got two left here. <clears throat> Here is another really nice high test Challenger four stamp. Really full bit. This thing has to be overweight. Challenger. Stamp four, but this thing weighs four pounds, 12 ounces. So maybe it was the stamps kind of faint. Maybe it was a maybe it is stamp four and a half. All I see is a four. But when I seen this in pictures, I noticed it was a really full, real full bit. So that one's sweet. 
last one is a king another king steel with the K on it. it says 4.4 on it. I think he said this one was kind of light though. All these keen seals have super nice splitting profile. It's really fat, concave this way. It says 4.4 on it, but it's a 4.4 stamp. Weighing in at three pounds, 12 ounces. This one's been worn down a little, been sharpened a bunch. So that's it for the Tazzy. Uh, let's see what came in the mail. No, I can't even remember what this is. Might be something dumb. Might not even be an axe. I can't remember. Feels like it. Oh, this is, uh, I was telling you I lost one in the mail. Uh, I sent a message to the sender and they said they'd send me another one. So they sent me a jersey, Collins jersey. Pretty rusty, might throw that. That's a perfect candidate to throw in the E-Tank. I got some jerseys lately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to switch things up. I'm always doing Tazzies and Raptors, you know, so it's like not everybody wants that. So I'm going to switch things up and do some jerseys, maybe a couple. I got some really nice Connecticut's um, just kind of waiting on handles. Let me get this out of the way. All right, if you guys have made it this far in the video, oh, check this out. He sends me these too. Key, like these keychain high test forge tool. It's like a leather thing, keychain to put on your keys. And a Kelly Dandenong. Those are sweet. All right, here now for. Uh, now for, uh, I want to show you guys this because probably never ever find another one. I answered a, a Craigslist ad and uh, he had some other axes posted on there. And, and uh, first, actually, my friend Warren responded to the ad. He went down there and he told me there, he, the guy had a bunch of axes and a bunch of stuff I would like. And, and, uh, I ended up going down there and I, I I got a few other rafters off of them, but I picked up this thing. This is a four pound NOS strokes rafting pattern. Never been hung. I have I have the five pounder just like this with the sticker and everything. And uh, I've been always wanting the four, so I picked up a four. And these things are unheard of, man. And he had he had a five gallon bucket full of these things. And uh, so we made a deal. He, it was really hard to talk him out of out of this. And he had some other ones that uh, some other strows that have the LP stamp and they're they have a stamp right here that's stamped into the when they're in when they're forging it they stamp into it and it says strokes right here and then LP and then uh, made in Sweden and then the weight stamp and those ones I really like and he had a five gallon bucket full of those and um, he wouldn't part with any of those, but, and I had to beg for this one. And, uh, you know, I'd explained it to him. I'm a collector and I have the five pounder. I need the four and, uh, I paid for it. And, uh, 
I had a pile, I had this picked out and one of those LP4s picked out and then another pile of rafters and I, he said he liked to do trades and stuff, you know, and, and like work for work and stuff like that. So, uh, I told him for the two strows and the pile of other rafters I had, I told him I'd come to his house and do a thousand dollars worth of tree work and he kind of laughed at me and, uh, and then, so we started talking money and we ended up striking a deal. And what sealed the deal was, I told him, um, I'll give you this much money for these axes and I'll make a handle, pick out any ax you want and I'll make a handle for it. So he sent me home with this one. It was a three pound GBA. Nos never been hung So I'm gonna make him a handle for this one Custom handle Probably laminate the palm swells and make it re look real nice, you know um, So that's the deal man this thing These are my favorite right here. If anybody's got any of these they want to get rid of them Let me know one of these one of these five sold on eBay a couple years ago for over a thousand dollars and uh that's right when the price of axes were crazy. But um, that just goes to show you what, what this stuff's worth and uh, name brand stuff and desirable things go for a lot of money. So right on you guys, thanks for watching.